Henry, James, and Gordon were miserable. They had been shut up for several days for being naughty and longed to be let out again. At last, Sir Topham had arrived. I hope you are sorry, he said, and that you understand that every job on the railway is important. We have a new tank engine called Percy, who helps pull coaches, and Thomas and Edward have worked the main line nicely. But I will let you out now if you promise to work hard. Yes, sir, said the three engines. We will. That's good. But please remember that this no-shunting nonsense must stop. Sir Topham Hatt then told Percy, Edward, and Thomas that they could go and play on the branch line for a few days. And they ran off happily to find Annie and Clarabelle at the junction. The two coaches were very pleased to see Thomas again. Edward and Percy played with the freight cars. Stop, 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 screamed the cars as they were pushed into their proper sidings. But the two engines laughed and went on shunting till the cars were tidily arranged. Next, Edward took some empty cars to the quarry. Percy was left alone. He didn't mind that a bit. He liked watching trains and being cheeky to the other engines. Hurry, 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 he would call, and they got very cross. After a great deal of shunting, Percy was waiting for the signalman to set the switch so he could get back to the yard. Percy was being rather careless and not paying attention. Edward had warned Percy, be careful on the main line, whistle to the signalman that you are there. But Percy didn't remember to whistle, and so the busy signalman forgot him. Percy waited and waited. The switch was still against him, so he couldn't move. Then he looked along the main line. Beep! Beep! He whistled in horror, for rushing straight toward him was Gordon with the express. Oh! groaned Gordon. Get out of my way! Percy opened his eyes. Gordon had stopped with Percy's buffers just a few inches from his own. But Percy had begun to move. I won't stay here. I'll run away, he puffed. He went straight through Edward's station and was so frightened that he ran right up Gordon's hill without stopping. That he was tired, but he couldn't stop. He had no driver to shut off steam and apply the brakes. I want to stop! I want to stop! He puffed. The man in the signal box saw Percy was in trouble, so he kindly set the switch. Percy puffed wearily onto a nice empty siding, ending in a big bank of earth. He was too tired now to care where he went. I want to stop! I want to stop! I have stopped, he puffed thankfully. Never mind, Percy, said the workman as they dug him out. You shall have a drink and some coal and then you'll feel better. Presently, Gordon arrived. Well done, Percy. You started so quickly that you stopped a nasty accident. I'm sorry I was cheeky, said Percy. You were clever to stop, replied Gordon. Then Gordon helped pull Percy out from the bank. The two engines are now good friends, but Percy is always most careful when he goes out on the main line. 